Hey guys, uh, it's me, Mo. Before we jump into the video today, I just wanted to um, mention my buddy. His name is Grayson. Um, he's been a fan for a very long time. I've had the uh, privilege of meeting him multiple times whenever I go home to see my family. Uh, he goes to my parents' church. Um, his name is Grayson. He's not doing so well right now. Um, he's in the hospital. Uh, he's pretty sick. Um, so I would really appreciate if you guys could just encourage him um, down in the comments. Um, and then in the description, I'm going to have a link to his channel where uh, he just posts random videos and stuff. If you guys want to go sub over there, show him some love. Um, I think that uh, encouraging people when they're sick can, can really help out a lot. Um, you know, your, your mental state um, and, and where your mind is uh, can be pretty overbearing. But if you can get encouragement from other people that care about you, uh, I think it can help out a lot. So I'd really appreciate if you guys would do that. Uh, Grayson's an awesome fan. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the videos. What's going on guys? Welcome back once again. It is me Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today talking about the card down here at the very bottom that, whoop, that yep, look what I got going on over there. Uh huh. Card that just was announced. People saw the leaks and everything, so eh, we weren't 100% sure if it was coming, but everybody knows now Electro Wizard is in the game. It will be out in three weeks, 21 days. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to compare level one Electro Wizard level one wizard and level one ice wizard we're just going to talk about them kind of figure things out on our own as we go i've got it all pulled up over here i'll click on them as well in the thing but it'll just be a little bit easier for me to um to talk about having everything up here and active um so electro wizard electro wizard electro wizard he looks absolutely ridiculous for elixir so he's in between the other wizards um, a level one or a regular wizard is five elixir ice wizard is three elixir so he is in the four elixir spot so we've got three four and five when it comes to um, the wizards right there now electro wizard he lands with a pal stunning nearby enemies and continues to show off by zapping two at a time his favorite movie is t2 so right off the bat he lands with a pal okay so um, I imagine that on your side, if there's a group of things, you can drop him. Um, it says that he lands with a pal. So when he lands, it's going to stun nearby enemies. Um, so you could, if you could time him with a zap or you could time him with a log, something along those lines, that initial um, stunning uh, whatever, that initial stun could really help out in those uh, scenarios with crowd control um, within the game. Uh, so show off by zapping two at a time. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you guys have played other games that have like shamans um, in it, a lot of times there's like a chain lightning effect. Um, so he, he affects two different things. I don't know if this is going to be um, a chain lightning type thing, um, obviously, but it is, it, he, he attacks two different things or zaps two different things at a time. Um, let's talk about his hit points. So his hit points are 550 as a level one. Um, the Ice Wizards, a level one Ice Wizard, guys, has 665 health. A level one Electro Wizard has 550. So the, the Electro Wizard costs more and has less health, but the Electro Wizard does 117 damage a second. The Ice Wizard does 42. Um, and then uh, let's see what their, their hit speed is 1.7 for the Electro Wizard, 1.5 for the ice wizard um and then range is five tiles for the electro wizard and 5.5 for the ice wizard so there's a little less right there that's not that much obviously but it, it definitely will make a difference the electro wizard is fast the ice wizard is medium speed um so that's going to be a big difference as well that'll help out with that range thing to where he gets to where he's going he doesn't need to he doesn't need that extra 0.5 because he's going to get there faster um, his stun duration is 0.5 seconds, uh, which is awesome. Um, spawn damage. So when he spawns, guys, he does 169 damage. Let's see how much. I wish I could see all these different level one things, um, but I just don't have them all. Like the zap spell does um, 247 area damage, and its stun duration is 0.5. So the stun duration is going to be the same uh, with the Electro Wizard as the zap, that 0.5 seconds. Um, and then his spawn damage is 169 and then 247. So as you level him up, 
he's going to be like another zap spell, guys. So you could ideally, say, fireball some three Musketeers and then drop off the Electro Wizard as they get closer. And then he takes no damage because he stuns and zaps and does that damage initially. So for um, ground targets, does he... I wonder... I don't know if his... If his stun affects air at this point, it says it targets air and ground, so I imagine that it does. So that's going to be really cool if he can, in fact, um, if he can, in fact, stun and damage um, air and ground troops with that initial with that initial landing. That'll be really really cool. Um, bringing in the 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 regular wizard here, um, like I was talking about earlier with the hit speeds. Um, so the Ice Wizard 1.5, Regular Wizard 1.6, Electro Wizard 1.7 second hit speed. Um, both the other wizards are medium speed, so that's cool that he's fast. Um, and then deploy time, one second, obviously. Um, the range of the Regular Wizard is five, as well as the Electro Wizard, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> the damage of... Uh, Wow, the damage, of, but obviously this is comparing, like when I compare the regular wizard since uh, he's not a legendary, uh, since it's just a rare, whenever I bring that in here, obviously it levels up faster, so it's going to be a lot different. So that initial uh, damage of 130 area damage, damage as a level 1 uh, isn't really comparable to uh, a legendary, obviously. But um, I'm excited about him. I think that he's going to be a fun card to play with. Um, and just the fact that he's going to land with a pal, like the fact that it, it specifically talks about him landing, um, compared to like the other ones that just spawn. Like I can just see him coming in, just being really loud, <clears throat> big, um, stun, uh, zap explosion type thing, making a real big scene. Um, and then just, just wreaking havoc. But there, there's the thing guys with how weak he is, um, you have to, like, do you play him as a support troop or do you almost play him as um, a sacrifice in a sense to uh, deal damage to a large group um, with that initial pow and that initial stun? Who really knows? This is all just um, thinking about things up here. But we're definitely going to get some gameplay out to you guys um, eventually with this uh, once it is uh, in the game and it starts coming out so that's gonna be freaking awesome but let me know what you guys feel about him let me know how you feel about the electro wizard what you think he's gonna be used for where you see yourself using him um, he doesn't have uh, let's see it continues to show off by zapping two at a time so the fact that he zaps does that mean that each time he shoots that stun is gonna be 0.5 seconds um, if his hit speeds 1.7 seconds and that would mean for only 1.2 seconds things aren't being zapped or stunned I don't know if that's the case um, We'll have to figure that out once it comes out, but the card looks awesome I'm super stoked about it. It looks like it's gonna be pretty sweet to play with again Let me know how you guys feel about it down below leave a like on the video if y'all are excited about it And hey as always guys make sure you keep calm and you clash on right peace